Hola. In this episode of Next Stop, I'm taking you to the Americas, to Mexico. With 120 million inhabitants, this country has the third largest population in the Americas, both north and south. Now, Mexico can be described as very traditional, with a certain amount of fatalism. In fact, when it comes to protection, many Mexicans would rather place their trust in their faith than, say, an insurance policy. So with that in mind, what is our role as an insurer, and how can Mexicans be better protected? Well, that's what we're going to find out in this episode of Next Stop. Let's go. In Mexico, there is no state insurance policy or mandatory protection. As a result, only 6.5% of households have home insurance, 16% have life insurance, and barely 8% have health insurance. This is particularly low, especially when you bear in mind the reality of what many Mexicans face, such as growing health problems and a high exposure to natural catastrophes. In 2017, the country was hit particularly hard. Floods, tropical storms, hurricanes, and in September, two devastating earthquakes. I'm now in the southern state of Oaxaca, which is one of the most affected. Now, thankfully, there was relatively little loss of life, but in some towns like Unión Hidalgo, where I am now, up to 80% of the buildings were destroyed. As one of the top three insurance companies in the country, AXA is particularly concerned by these events, going beyond its role by rebuilding affected communities. Hola, Sofia. Sí. Buenos días, Sofía. Hola, buenos días, mi amor Noel. ¿Qué pasó el, el día del terremoto? Estábamos dormidos cuando de repente sentimos que empezó a moverse. Pero este, empezó suavecito, suave, suave. Y luego empezó a hacerse más, más fuerte, más fuerte. Y luego todo se, se vino abajo, todas las casas, todo la, el techo de la casa. To help the local population get back on its feet, AXA Mexico has actively allied itself through its foundation with NGOs such as Construyendo. Pensábamos en, en reconstruir, pero como albañiles no había, no habían albañiles, no había el material estaba muy caro y llegó Construyendo y nos ofertó esta casa, nos ofreció la casa y optamos por ellos porque pues íbamos a levantar algo, pero no la íbamos a poder terminar con el dinero que el gobierno nos apoyó, que nos está apoyando. ¿De entre cuánto tiempo? ¿Una semana? Está menos? ¿Para que me la entreguen? Sí. sí, una semana, me dicen. ¿Y el pequeño está, está feliz? <laughs> sí. Through the partnership with the local NGOs and the engagement of its employees, AXA has been active in the country's reconstruction. And with the people here who were affected by the earthquake, they weren't insured, but we still participated in rebuilding here, didn't we? Yes, definitely. They were not insured, and we're participating through two channels. Through the foundation, we are rebuilding up to 550 homes together with other organizations and 18 schools. And then every home that we deliver that is reconstructed is going to be resilient and it will be insured by AXA. And how do the beneficiaries um, access to this help? They have to contribute with the money they got as a grant from the government and with their own work and reconstruction. So it's not just a handout? No, we don't give handouts. It's very important that people participate to create um, ownership of their own house. A clear objective for AXA in Mexico is to make insurance more accessible to the population. And not just in extreme cases such as natural catastrophes, but also for everyday matters such as health. Now, 7 out of 10 Mexicans are overweight, and a third are chronically obese. Now, this is a real national health problem. Mexico is known, especially for child uh, obesity, one of the top players in that. And that generates, in the long term, a huge problem of diabetes. In Mexico, there are over 10 million people diagnosed with diabetes. And uh, it's estimated that there is at least as many that are not diagnosed. OK, and so what kind of solutions do we have? In AXA Mexico is actually we generated a new product, changing and breaking all the paradigms. It's a social contract with the diabetes. I will make sure that I offer you something that you don't have access to, that is private health insurance, with only one condition, is 
you will have to adhere to your treatment. The big issue in Mexico is that insurance penetration is so low. The majority of people don't have insurance, so we try to create um, simpler and more accessible products. That's clearly our task. And we are working with authorities in order to make sure that more Mexicans are insured. So to achieve this, do you work with the public sector? We do lobbying. We have a lot of talks with politicians, with um, authorities, but we also try to convince them that compulsory insurance, for instance, against earthquakes, is an absolute necessity. And uh, after the two earthquakes in September, I think nobody will tell us that this is not a real need in Mexico. So here we are at the end of this episode of Next Stop. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it was instructive too. Now you can see my other adventures at hashtag AXA Next Stop, and you'll be seeing me soon in another country. Till then, hasta luego.